welcome back to the man's kitchen it is me your host james the food man and today we're going to make a vegetable tray and vegetable tray is you're going to find this in both our culinary skills playlist because we're going to go over some basic chops again you're also going to find this in our party tray playlist now if you like today's video make sure you hit the like button if you like this channel hit the subscribe button and leave me a comment down below if you want you can also follow us on instagram Twitter and Facebook. Now we are going to make this tray on our cutting board just like we did our cheese tray last week. And the vegetables that we have for today, we've got some radishes, a red pepper, cauliflower, broccoli, cucumber, celery, I've got some ranch dressing, we've got some ice, and i got a pot of water on behind me that I'm bringing to a boil. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to get our radishes prepped up. So we're going to cut a radish off the vine, we're going to cut this end off with our paring knife, and we're just going to come in near the edge. You can get four or five, and you just want to go around the outside. And we're going to drop that into our ice, and we're going to fill this with water when we're done. And this is going to make the radish roses. It's important to do this first because they have to sit in ice water. They have to get really cold for them to bloom. So I'm going to do all of these radishes, and then I'll get back to you when we move on to the next vegetable. Before I go, I'm just going to show you one more time. We cut it clean off the stem. You don't have to. You can leave a little stem on and say that that's the stem of the uh, stem of the ro rose if you want. Cut the top off though, for sure. And just gently, only about an eighth of an inch or so in, and just rotate the radish each time. As long as you get four or five, it'll it'll open up. Now I'm gonna. Those water, keep on working on this, and I'll get back when we do our next vegetable. Okay, so all the radishes are in the fridge, and next up we're gonna hit the broccoli. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut the broccoli up, and then we're gonna blanch the broccoli. And the reason we're gonna do a quick blanch on it is because it's gonna lock the color as a nice vibrant green. You don't wanna leave it in there long enough to cook it. So it's literally gonna be about a 10 second blanch or less. But first, let's cut up the broccoli. Okay, so for a veggie tray, we don't need the stem. So we're just gonna discard that. We don't need any of the leaves. We're going for bits like that. So we're just going to bring our knife. We're going to take the knife in here. And we're just going to rotate it around. Okay, some of these can get cut in half again. And now we have our broccoli ready. Let's take it over and blanch it. All right, we're just gonna take this to the boiling hot water. Drop it in. Maybe get a spoon or a spatula. I'm sure it's under, it's all under water. And that's all we really need. So we can shut this off, grab our strainer, I'll go over to the sink. Put it in ice, mix it up, and just let it sit in that ice bath and cool itself off while we move on to the next vegetable action. Moving along, we have a cucumber. You want to make it look nice? Take a vegetable peeler. Peel it on four sides. Take your knife. Cut it on a bias. And you're gonna get really nice medallions here of cucumber that are gonna look really nice on the tray. Okay, so we'll just slide that off to the side. Celery, take a couple sticks of celery. 
if it's really sandy and dirty, wash it. If it's like that pre-washed stuff from the store where they try to spray it down really well like this, it should be fine. Um, you might still want to wash it if you're worried about pesticides, chemicals, bugs. So I like to take the tops off just because they look kind of gross. Let's take the bottoms off. Not too far though, just, just basically where it taps to the root. Okay. Celery sticks. Yeah, so sometimes with veggie trays, the problem is you get waste because you want every, if you're trying to make everything look nice, you do get a lot of waste when you're doing stuff like this in vegetable trays, which at the restaurant, it's no big deal because I make soups. So for the, to just cut these into celery sticks, because you have that moon shape here, right? So I just lay it down, I bring my knife in, and I just start to roll it while I slice through it. And that gives me my stick. If you wanted to dice this for a soup afterwards, then you could just line them all up and then start running through them with a knife, give them a nice uniform dice that way. Okay, but again, these are celery sticks for a vegetable tray, so they don't need to be super tiny. You might be wondering why I don't have any carrot. Well, I forgot to steal carrot from the restaurant. And if I were to show you every vegetable that you use on a vegetable tray, then where would your imagination go? So one of the reasons why I'm not that worried about not having carrot is because in my culinary skills video playlist that I mentioned previously, I have a video where I show you all about carrots. What am I doing with the bottom of the celery now? Or cauliflower? Basically go around the root with your knife. Your waste is going to come off, your leaves. Okay. And this is basically going to fall apart now. And I have the fibrous stock right here, which you don't really use for anything. You don't even, you don't even, it's not even really good to boil this in stocks. It makes everything taste like cabbage. So that can go off to the side. Um, I'm not going to use all of this for the tray. Uh, we're going to make soup with the leftovers. So just like the broccoli, we're just going to cut up some of this. Normally when we make these at the restaurant, we use one or the other, broccoli or cauliflower. Usually whichever one's on sale, because a little goes a long way, so you only really need one of these. Like we'll do vegetable trays for up to 100 people, we only need two cauliflowers. Because a little bit of this goes a long way on one of these trays. So we'll yeah, maybe use a half of one more of these and then I'll save the rest for soup. Okay. There, now all of our vegetables are prepped. So we're just going to organize and arrange this nicely on this tray. And the first thing we're gonna do is put a little bowl in the middle, put our dressing here. Okay, we're gonna take our celery and you want to try to avoid putting two of the same color side by side and you know what guys you just caught me because I have a pepper here that I totally forgot to do so we'll just move this off take our knife rid of our seeds. You can put any color pepper on a vegetable tray that you want. Um, I just don't like green peppers, never have. I don't really think that they offer a lot by way of flavor, they're kind of bitter. So I would go with sweet peppers, like reds and oranges. And actually there was this one day I was at the store, I saw a purple pepper for the first time. I thought, ooh, I bet you that's going to taste amazing. I wonder what a purple pepper tastes like. It's, it's green on the inside. It was really disappointing. And it was three times the price of a regular green. 
but I digress. All right, so there we go. We have our celery, our pepper, green, red. We can put our cauliflower on next. White, green, red, white. Okay. We can grab our broccoli next. So when you grab your broccoli, rinse it, or drain it, I mean, because it is going to be wet. Okay. Let's stack that on. Okay, and with the blanching, you're gonna see you've locked in that nice, bright, vibrant color, but you don't have any of the, and it's not, it's not gonna taste cooked. Okay, now we can grab our radishes. Ideally, you wanna, you wanna do the radishes almost a day before. These really are only just starting to work their way out. And if you leave them overnight, they're gonna come right open like this. So we can put our radishes in here. The other thing, if you had, say you did have carrots here, then you could take your radishes and you could use them to block off your different vegetables and kind of go in between as uh, like a divider. But we're gonna put the radishes here in this spot. I'm just going to take them out of the ice water. Oh, that's cold. Okay, now with the celery, or celery, cucumber, you could now take it and push it in in the corners. Kind of like a just like that on the corners. And you can go back and do all four corners like that. And this is this is gonna be the only time I'm gonna say it's okay to have green and green together. Is when you're using your cucumber like this. Go around and hit all four corners. Okay, and there we have a jam-packed vegetable tray. Now, did I show you all the vegetables in the world that you can put on a vegetable tray? No, because we all have an imagination, and I'm just showing you the basics, the basics about color variants and trying not to have the same color side by side. So we're going green, red, green, red, white. This way it breaks up the appearance of it and it looks much more snazzier. Okay, everybody, that was our vegetable tray here in the man's kitchen. And if you liked today's video, hit the like button. If you liked the channel, hit that subscribe button. Ding the bell icon so you get notifications when I post new videos. And leave a comment in the section below, in the comments down below. Let me know what you like to put on your vegetable trays. Let me know if there's any anything really that you want to learn that I'm not showing you. And I'll try and get that into another video. Thanks, and have yourself a great day.